today is day zero aka load in and setup day for level up expo 2024 If you're watching this video, then you're one of the following groups of people. A, you've never been to Level Up Expo and you want to go to Level Up Expo in the future. B, you did go to Level Up Expo or you've been to Level Up Expo in the past. Or C, you randomly stumbled upon my video thanks to the YouTube algorithm. And if you're from group C, hi, hello, my name is Lindsay. I run a corgi themed art business called Single Sploot. And this is my Level Up Expo vlog. So this year is my first time going to Level Up Expo and I'm going in with zero expectations. Now I did hear from some of my Vegas local friends that Level Up Expo is the biggest gaming and anime convention here in Nevada. Don't know how true that is or what to really compare it to. So coming in with a blank slate um, doesn't really give me much to work off of, but my only other benchmark for Vegas shows is Anime Las Vegas, and I kind of all know how that went, and if you didn't, you can watch one of my previous vlogs on it. I've done it for two years now. Um, and so, yeah, while this is my first time at Level Up Expo, it's definitely not my first convention. So, let's see how hectic this can get, and I'll catch you guys when I'm at the convention center. So just got to the convention center. Um, I'm parked in the, well, I'm like in the diamond lot. I'm not parked in the diamond lot. I'm like pulled off to the side of the convention center, but it's like next to the diamond lot. Um, but the check-in is like on the other side of the building, but it's like more center to the building. I don't know. This building is just really freaking huge and like it's all carpeted. And they told me that the artist alley entrance is on the other side across this building that is carpeted and if you know anything about pulling suitcases across carpet that is just not it so i don't know what i'm gonna do um because i do have four really really heavy suitcases plus like a couple big bags um and i really don't want to pull it across the carpet so gonna kind of chill for a second recollect myself before i go in um because i am very confused <laughs> The one thing I will say is that this convention does not do a very good job with like instructions because um, there's nothing about load in. There's only instructions about check in. So we have made it to the booth and it is so, so far. Okay, so I'm so out of breath. I'm so exhausted and I only pushed two suitcases. I have to make three trips. Um, and my booth is like all the way on the far end of like where I come in from. From the diamond lot and i don't know like an easier way to get here the wheels on this suitcase are effectively broken so i'm retiring this suitcase but we did it low two and i'm so i'm just i'm very irritated there are some people driving in which i don't know how they were able to do that because like i said this convention did not share any information about load-in they did have like a small spiel about check-in and then when i went to check-in like I asked her, you know, do I just park there and wheel it across the carpet? And she was like, yeah, you know, instead of offering me other options. So I don't know how that all works. I don't even know where that entrance is because I'm going to be honest, this is my first time at this convention center and I drove around in circles for 20 minutes. So, Also, nothing wrong with a little bit of cardio. Heart health is very important and I don't work out enough. So this is what I get for not working out. Full blown. So we are inside, we're setting up. There's a lot of people driving by with their cars, and I wish I had known how to do that. But I digress. We've made it. Here's the booth. You guys are all the way over there on tables, and I think this is like a seating area for people. Like, actually, I don't know. Maybe tabletop gaming is actually right here, which is super unfortunate because I believe there is a. Uh, one piece tournament but then i think gaming is actually on the other side i don't know the layout of this hall is quite confusing um but setting up my backdrop i am doing a solo setup so you guys will get to see how i do that i guess sort of kind of i don't know 
The booth size is a 10 by 6, and you're given a 6 foot table, which is this one. I brought my own 4 foot table, which is this one. I don't know if you guys can see because they're like very, very far away. But um, it's a 10 by 6 with a 6 foot table. Out of the corner booth, um, you do get pipe and drape on the back and pipe and drape on the side. I took off my side pipe and drape. But obviously, corner booth, take it And there is no height limit here. So people are going quite tall in their displays. Excuse me, do you guys mind if I tuck my flat feet under uh, your tripod stands? Okay. Just wanted to make sure. Go ahead. <laughs> Thank you. You always want to be really, really nice to your neighbors because they might come to help you save the day. Just want to give you guys a quick look at what's happening. I want to say I'm about like 50% of the way there. Um, I think the framework is all laid down. I'm putting up the acrylic um, nail polish holders for the stickers. Then we're going to put up product, but everything seems to be going good. Backdrop's going to hold t-shirts. We have a sidewall over there for more apparel. I have jackets and stuff. Um, stickers will be down here. And yeah, I think it's looking pretty good. So after Kauai Con, I kind of went a little too ham on the shopping for myself. Um, and I had to leave my hangers behind in Hawaii. Um, I ended up just giving it to my brother because he moved into a new house and needed hangers. But I picked up these hangers from Daiso and they're foldable. And each pack comes with two pieces. Um, so two hangers in a pack, which I think is pretty reasonable, but I like that they're so compact, which makes it really good for flying with. And it just kind of like opens up like that. So it folds up like this very compact it's super light it's plastic and then it opens up like this it swivels so we're gonna use this for our apparel um, and yeah picking up some t-shirts I have uh, three t-shirts I think to sell this weekend um, so we have our always sleepy we have soju and we have um, leftovers from a little quirky the only thing I will say is that it is kind of short um, but thankfully the chairs here are very sturdy so I don't mind having to stand on the chair this is what it looks like as you can see it's pretty short um, in terms of like the length from the hook to like the hanger part um, but I think it's fine so I don't know how much info I shared about this convention but Level Up Expo is taking place at the Las Vegas Convention Center this weekend, April 26th to 28th. It is a three-day convention, um, and it is branded as a gaming tech convention, I believe, is like the official thing for it. Um, but I am in the artist alley, and this layout is quite interesting. So directly across from me is what I believe is going to be some type of TCG thing. I don't know for sure if this is where the TCG tournament is going to take place but I am at the very front of the artist alley so you can kind of see in the distance over there the artist alley banner and across from me are all of the exhibitors um, so I say that I have a pretty sweet spot um, I am right next to the bathroom which is great I love it um, so yeah very interesting convention it is I believe a mid-sized convention um, use that information for what you will and yeah one thing I will say that I really like is, although the load-in was absolutely trash, um, they had they gave no information at all about load-in, and apparently some people who drove in got turned away. Um, but aside from that, today check-in started at 8 a.m. So check-in for badges goes from 8 to 10. Load-in um, or like setup in the hall goes from 8 a.m. to midnight, which is really nice, especially if you're flying in from say like the East Coast. Um, you don't have to come a whole day early. You can fly in literally the same day and then come straight and set up. So I think that's really nice. I hate when I go to conventions and like the setup finishes or closes at seven and I'm like rushing. So it is currently six o'clock, I think. It is currently 6.38, so we still have a lot of time, which is great. And yeah, let's keep going. I did it. It's finally done. 
Yay. Here's a look at our corner. I didn't put the flag up because I feel like it might be a little overkill. Um, we'll see how I feel in the morning. May or may not change that. But this is what it looks like. Not too bad, I think. I hope. But we'll see what my mom has to say because we all know that Mama's Bloot is marketing. Uh, she is our merchandising person, so we'll see what she says about the setup tomorrow. But gonna head out for the night. So behind the artist alley is actually um, arcade. Everybody has such cute setups. Wow! I have to show you guys this. Whoa! <laughs> so arcades. There are some. I believe this is like a larping area. There's the level up lounge, so there's some signs put out. Um, I believe the overall hall has uh, 200 tables for Artist Alley, um, which is not too bad. You can see over here we have the free arcade. Wow, look at all the games! And then there's like more gaming and whole like stage and stuff back there. There's a wrestling ring over here on this side. I'm so tired. And we'll try back in tomorrow morning for day one. Day one. This is the loop, the Tesla loop for ride shares. We're waiting to get into the parking lot. Hopefully there's parking, please. There's an entrance right behind me. If you have an artist badge or a staff badge, then you can come in through that entrance. So. <laughs> Thankfully, you don't have to walk around to the front. I heard some people had to walk around to the front to get inside, but we are good. Good morning. It is day one of Level Up Expo. We are here at the convention center. It is currently 10.39, so about 20 minutes until opening. Um, we got here at nine o'clock, I wanna say, like a little bit before nine, and the parking lot for the diamond, or that we parked in the diamond parking lot, which is like the closest to this convention center hall, um, was like pretty much full. So I don't know what that means because today doesn't start till 12. It does open at 11 for VIPs, um, so 12 o'clock for everybody else. Um, but there was already a line of people outside. So tomorrow we will have to get here extra extra early because it is Saturday um, today is Friday but pretty excited it's so nice to see the hall fill up um, got everything sorted and organized here at the booth and did get some food and drinks for the rest of the day but pretty excited to see how it goes and I'm sad because I so I have a badge thingy and I usually have like my Emmy photo card and keychains and stuff and I don't know where it went after Koi Con and I also have a box cutter on there that I use and it's like super handy but I for the life of me don't know what happened to it I could have sworn I packed into a suitcase that stayed here in Vegas but it's just not there so that is going to be on the back of my mind until I go back home to Seattle and look through what I have there because I cannot find it and I'm so sad because like I don't have Emmy on me but I do have like my Emmy photo cards all over the booth so is what it is but i don't know if i showed you guys this is the badge for this year so it's an artist badge it's pretty generic pretty basic so nothing fancy i think i want to put some stickers on it or something but that's that and then they did give us a lanyard um, so super excited but day one let's go you can hear them cheering outside um at the exit so super excited hopefully we have a good first day we did have a pretty good opening showing um with the vips a lot of ooze ahs cutes the usual um but here we go and the nice thing is that they have been making announcements about when the hall is open who's the hall open to which has been really nice and they've also been giving us updates um 10 minutes before it was open they let us know 10 more minutes until the hall is open to everyone um but 12 o'clock hall is officially open I think it's a good time to show you guys a breakdown of the back of the booth. Again, we had a 10 by 6 space. Provided was a 6 foot table, brought a 4 foot table, 
and then I built a two with wide uh, grid panel wall. We have pretty much all of our apparel on this side as well as our bags. We have our shopping bags over here, more bags on the floor, and apparel over there as well. Um, that's pretty much it for the organization. Um, all the stuff behind me is like, there's nothing there. Then we have more bags here and more stuff in here, but this is just like general stuff and some hats. So pretty organized, pretty big space. So it works out really well. So I'm taking a break and I've got Mama Sploot on the register. Watch her do a fine job. <laughs> it's actually not a lot of uh, customers, so it's not too bad. It is currently 7.30. We have about 30 minutes before the hall closes for day one. Um, the crowd has died down quite a bit. Um, I will say that because I did Anime Las Vegas, there were a lot of people who recognized me from there. Um, so that was really nice. I did get a couple of people who asked if I was here last year, but obviously this is my first time here. So um, for Friday, I think it's okay. I haven't checked the numbers yet, so I don't know actually how good or bad I did today. Um, Again, didn't sell too, too much apparel or bags. It was mostly just stickers and air fresheners. And because it's kind of died down quite a bit, I am making my mom take an MBTI test. So kind of excited to see what she gets there. But yeah, that's the day one in a nutshell. It's not too bad. So my mom just did her MBTI. Comment down below what you think her MBTI is. Um, <laughs> totally spot on, I guess. I kind of guessed part of it, so, but I think it's really funny. Personally, I am an INFP, so yeah, we're kind of similar, kind of different. It's kind of funny. She never took her MBTI before, but comment down below what you think it might be, and I'll let you guys know if you're right or wrong. <laughs> I will say that for mid sized cons or small cons, um, anything that's pretty much not like hyper busy con, like AX or maybe like Otacon or something like that you do have a lot of downtime and a lot of ways with attendees so they'll like come and go um, sometimes in a very consistent manner sometimes not in a consistent manner um, i will say today was like semi-consistent there was some ebbs and flows some ebbs bigger than their flows um, but it wasn't horrible we had a ton of people picking up business cards i am like really low on business cards i think i have enough to get me through the weekend but i don't know if i truly have enough i want to say everything i put out today is like pretty much gone um and so hopefully i have enough if not i did have a sign or I have a sign somewhere that says like i'm out of business cards here's my qr code and i would highly 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 recommend that if you are an artist alley vendor um, to have one of those a backup qr code or a sign with a qr code that people can scan when you do run out of business cards um, i do know some people just get got rid of their business cards altogether and all they have is a qr code scanner which is totally fine um, if that's something you want to do but i know a lot of other people prefer to have the business card um, they like to take pictures of it and like send it to their friends as well to like share their booth so just kind of keep that in mind Friday night. Once again, the exhibit hall is now closing. The after party will be fine. <laughs> All right, so we are closed for Friday. We made some last minute sales. Um, and that's it for day one. I would say it was not too bad. I did take a peek at the numbers and it was okay. I think it really comes down to how tomorrow goes, if this weekend turns out to be good or not. Um, but I think not too bad. Heading home for the night, walking through the exhibit hall. Got some gaming over here. Really nice boots. This is such a big hall. I've never been in this hall before. Country roll over there. Taking some inspo. So there is stuff happening until like 3 a.m. Um, here and other places, but. 
This hall goes up to three floors of activities for the con. There's the Dunkin. Oh. There's a Dunkin Donuts inside here. The Dunkin's fucking probably. So the diamond parking lot that we parked at <laughs> is on the other side of this hall. Um, so we're gonna walk this way and go out there. We are outside the front of the convention center. This is where people line up to go in through the main entrance. I don't know if you can hear me. I don't have my mic and there's a loud helicopter flying over. But this is where all the taxis come and stop if you're going to take the taxi. Cool thing about this convention center is that you can get here by monorail, taxi, um, ride chairs, so Uber or Lyft. Or you can also use the Vegas Loop, which is that whole like Tesla car thing. Um, there's the sphere. We got the strip. Good morning, mom. Good morning, convention center. It is currently like 8, 7.45 or something like that. This is the parking situation. Very much empty, which is surprising because yesterday we opened at 11 for VIP and today we open at 10 for VIP and there's not as many people, which I suspect everybody's gonna come at the same freaking time. Um, but I don't know if they're gonna come early. There was an after party yesterday that went on till like 3 a.m. So who knows, maybe everybody went to that and they're just tired. There's a bagel place over there though. Can you see that? Seagull's Bagel Mania. So what we did was order for pickup we're gonna go walk over there, pick up our food, and then walk over here and go inside. So that's the plan. Got some Dutch Bros. We got a Red Bull drink. And I am super wired. My heart is racing, but my eyes are tired. So that's the situation. This is the back of the exhibitor hall. They have these like light installations you can take photos with. Guest signing is all the way over here. And we're like all the way on the other side. Then to the left of here, we have car display, Tasha cars. So cool. Just restocked my business cards. I was fresh out. I did add my booth table and the event that we are at. That way people know either how to find me or if they go home, they remember where they saw me. So I highly recommend people do this. Um, I think it helps out a lot. Ah, we have Jax here. I have her uh, Instagram tag below. Yay! <laughs> Good morning, everybody. It is day two. It is 11 o'clock. They just announced that the hall is open. It not too long because it was like 8 a.m. But super good news if there's a long line um, that means there's a lot of people hopefully you know it gets really packed here it is Saturday um, and yeah excited I do have a tip jar which I only do very rarely and mostly if I am in artist alley um, it says treats for Emmy and I use this money to buy Emmy treats um, from like other businesses and stuff that sell dog treats because I like supporting boutique businesses that sell dog treats. Um, they just feel cleaner and more natural and just overall more healthier for Emmy. So, treats for Emmy. And I have a photo of Emmy. So, I do that. So, somebody totally was like leaning on the lights or something because the lights have dimmed dramatically and it's now dark again and I would so much wish for the lights to turn back on um, you can't really tell on the camera because the camera does a really good job of like auto lighting but it is very dark in here and they need to turn these lights back on it's been like I want to say over five minutes now so the lights have come back on but only on half of the floor so the exhibit hall half has their lights on but our half it does not have lights on and you can kind of tell that it's like that much darker on our side but it's very dark 
so an ikea rep just came by because apparently they have an ikea booth here um at the show because they now have like gaming and like tech furniture but they gave us free bags which i am not opposed to free bags also if you are a small business apparently oh lights are back on we're having an on and off session with the lights good morning hello this is the three o'clock update we have five more hours until the end i believe we close at eight o'clock today so um it's been pretty okay there is a lot of people here but not a lot of shoppers um so if you're new to cons basically everybody's just kind of looking around um and just being very tight with their purchases which is okay um i'm finding though that this might not be the con for me just based on demographics it kind of seems that everybody is not really into the cutesy look which is of course what my stuff is i'm getting a lot of like oohs and ahs and like oh my god it's so cute but nobody's really wanting to purchase it um did have a funny situation where a couple people looked up looked at my stickers and were very interested but one girl decided she did not want to buy stickers because she did not need stickers however proceeded to buy stickers like right after from another booth um, which is totally okay i don't care um but it just goes to show that it's very easy for customers to reason themselves out of not a, a reason themselves out of a purchase than to make a purchase hello i watch your videos like Here. crazy when i'm doing art <laughs> we love your chicken <laughs> how are you doing it's okay yeah the lighting's kind of like making me feel really tired yeah. so i'm trying to like be alert <laughs> honey here's ten dollars back and then a free bag ribbon for you as well. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks for watching our videos. Yeah, of course. <laughs> I appreciate it. I will say I have been getting a lot of inquiries about pins and I don't I'm phasing out enamel pins, but I think I might bring back a or bring acrylic pens. I don't know yet if that's something I want to embark on, but a lot of inquiries for pins at this event. Yes. Yeah. Someone left me a ducky. There were a lot of very cool cosplays at this convention. One of them was uh, this giant Evian Gengar. I heard they did a lot of fun, cute things um, on the other side where I couldn't see, but they're super cute. Look at them. <laughs> So this convention was held in the same hall that um, I believe TwitchCon Las Vegas used last year and because it was a big hall there was a lot of space between the tables and the aisles um, which really made it feel like it was emptier than probably what it really was. There was a lot of people um, but I never felt crowded or too congested like I do at a lot of other cons which is good and bad. It did make it feel at the table like there was nobody there sometimes um, but there were people walking around. Hello everybody. It is currently 7 o'clock which means it is power hour of day 2. Um, it is still very dim where we are. The lighting situation I think has made me very very tired and it's not been good. Um, a little bit of a stock update. We're slowly selling through apparel and I mean like very very slowly. Um, hats have like not been moving at all. I think I have sold like maybe like three or four hats total and I have like eight designs. Um, but apparel overall has not been really good. Um, socks, bubble plushie keychains, and coin purses have been going steadily, which is to be expected. Um, bags have also not been going well. I have the crossbody bag, the sling bag, duffel bag, tote bag, um, and the big reusable bag. And all of them across the board are just kind of flopping a bit. Um, I will say that the big reusable bag, I expected it to not do as well because this convention does give out free reusable bags i think i don't know if there's a stipulation to get the bag but that's that con is over packing up their night but uh, the tcg game still has one more round so they're gonna finish that but thank you for day two i had fun i am so pooped out and tired good morning everybody it is day three of level up expo aka the very last day 
um overall i think the weekend's been going pretty okay it's about on average i would say for a mid-size con i would kind of rank this the same size as a con um depending on how today goes but we're right around that range we are officially open for day three i don't really have high expectations just because it is sunday but we'll see how it goes One more out. Actually, it's like 30 more minutes. 30 more minutes, and then we can go home. And then it's clean up. Yeah. Is that going to be I'll cash be or card? For sure. Card? It'll be 1084 after tax. You can go ahead and tap for me when you're ready. Perfect. And you guys are all set. Thank you so much. Thank you. Mom's going to start packing up. I'm gonna go drop off our tax forms with our money um, and yeah thank you so much for watching this has been level up it was my first time here had a good time definitely a mid-size show um, if you made it this far be sure to like comment and subscribe um, and check out my monthly sticker club over on patreon this is one of my reasons May's design is I haven't done it yet um, so you'll want to follow me over on Instagram to see what May's design is. But you can always check me out on Patreon at Single Spoot. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. My next anime convention is actually not until maybe Chibi Chibi Con in Olympia. If I vlog it, if I don't, then I will see you guys at AX. Um, I do have a whole bunch of smaller events happening in the month of May. So maybe I'll do a small video for U District Street Fair or something. But if not, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!